Today is one of those busy days. We are hustling from job to job, trying to slam them all, get them all done. I'm working with Nick. We got a call on the dispatch phone, and it was just a bunch of random that the guy wanted moved. So we're going up to this guy's place. I'm going to grab a fuel tank and grab a riding lawnmower, and Stan's going to get an older box truck. In this line of work, we get sent on a call. We don't know what we're actually getting into until we actually get on scene. Sometimes you can have fun with it. Sometimes it'll actually piss you off. <laughs> You'll see that box van when you first pull into the driveway. I'm going to grab this fuel tank. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a pain in my butt right now. I can tell you right off the bat. This is an estate sale, and they've been selling a lot of stuff. This fellow who died, he's sort of a figure up here in Alaska. This was actually his first truck, and he built like a fleet of like 30. My buddy called me up and said, hey, we need to get a bunch of this stuff off the property, so I got a place for it. I'm he manning it. You need a wrecker up there to lift it up for I do. you? I need somebody to steer while I load it, too. There we go. Oh. Uh... This is a Tommy gate. Oh, yeah. This is a Tommy gate right here. I can't put pressure on that, otherwise I'm going to put it right through the floor. So I'm going to have to pick it up from the front end and tow it. This Tommy gate is an uh, old version of a lift. They're real thin. They're not sturdy. So I have to tow it from the front. I have to drop the drive line. That's the only way I can move this big beast. Now it's hooked up, and I can disconnect the drive line. Why you disconnect the drive line? If we don't do it, we're basically forcing the transmission to turn. Right. It's not going to turn the engine. It's forcing the transmission to turn. Yep. If the oil is not going to be lubricating and the pump is not working inside because it works under pressure, we're burning up that oil. And it gets to a certain temperature, you explode the whole gearbox. I need to do it my way because it's safer. We have to have safety. Safety is our main priority. You never heard that? No. I've, I can show you pictures of what will happen. This is a manual school bus. That's what will happen to it if we don't disconnect the drive right. line. I have a strong opinion, and I disagree. If we don't disconnect the drive line, we're forcing the gearbox to turn. But I mean, I've never heard of a gearbox burning up before. You know, you show up on scene with all this background, and then to have somebody that doesn't understand start questioning why you're doing it, why can't you do it the other way? Nothing in the engine burning. Yeah, but from turning the rear axle, you're forcing the gearbox to turn. Get it? Not really. The customer wants done cheap. He wants to save a dime, but I know my job. I've been doing this for a long, long time. If I could go up to his job, tell him to do his job my way, I would like to see his reaction. Nick, I need to talk to you. What's up? So I'm doing what that customer thinks. If I don't disconnect the drive line from the rear end, the vehicle that I'm towing will catch on fire. We're not doing it, period. I've been doing this for a long, long time. It just pisses me off when the customer thinks they know better. He's just trying to save that dime, but it's going to put me at risk or killing me, and I don't want that happening. I don't care what their opinion is. I'm going with the safer route. In that kind of situation that I'm in, the best thing is not to listen to the customer. I've never heard on a manual transmission that'll burn up the gearbox. Every truck, you drop the drive line. It frustrates Stan. Like, he's out there to do a job, and he's out there to do it safely. Him, with all that experience and having somebody that doesn't have it second guess or start questioning what he's doing, it can be frustrating. If we're just going to listen to the customer and do the cheaper right way out, we might as well just hang up the keys and not worry about anything. Just let the customers do it. You know, that would be like me telling a cab driver how to drive a cab, and I'm running a tow truck. So I explained it to him again. Th but there's different. Well, I've never heard the no. reasoning that it's the gear Your fluid's fluid. not flowing through. I don't understand. There's a lot of variables to it, yeah. I think. But I mean, he has to drop the drive line, and right. so. Yeah, I, I got that. Yeah. And I'm not like, you know. Yeah. If Nick wasn't there, I was about to knock his ass out. OK, however works best for you guys taking the customer away from the situation. I think he was more curious on why we did it versus him in the beginning trying to tell us how to do our job. I mean, I, I hate working on cars, and I'm, you know, I'm not a mechanic, I'm a driver, so. This is where I get to go playing in the snow. How you doing, wow. big boy? There we go. 
Total bill is four hundred seventy-two dollars and twenty cents. Okay, it's all yours. Yeah, hey, thank you. And this is what I do for a living. If something goes wrong, I'm responsible for that. It's kind of hard to explain something to a customer when they have their own theory. Everybody has their own theories. It's just one of those things that we deal with all the time. All in all, successful tow, job well done. Don't argue with my heavy guy when he says he's got to do something. <laughs>